assigning a scale action. Here I have a vanity with a sink in it. And first I'm going to put a linear parameter in and I'm going to use the base option and use the midpoint setting. So I go to parameters, I go to linear, I go down to the command line, I type in B for base. I hit M for midpoint. Now I'm going to choose my quadrant and my quadrant. And I'm going to place this up above and click on it. I'm going to go properties and call this sync length. I'm going to close this. Next, we're going to assign a scale action. We're going to come in and we're going to go with scale. We're going to pick the parameter and it'll ask us for which objects we are going to want to scale. I'm going to pick the two outside circles of the sink or the lab and I'm going to hit enter. Now it's critical this will not work unless we change the properties in the override category to independent. We want to make sure that this is scaled from this center point, not from the, the original pick point. You see the action icon right here. If I click on this, actually if I just pick it, I select it. Now it's selected. This icon um, is selected. Once I have it selected, I can right click. I go to properties and I want to change my override base type from dependent to independent. This is critical that I change this. And the key is right clicking and selecting this action, then going to properties. I repeat, you want to select this scale action, then right click and then go to properties. Change this base type to independent. Next, when we select and have the properties selected, we want to make sure it's independent, but we want to make sure we pick the correct X and Y. To do that, select the X, pick the little picker box here, and come over here and do a center, and find the center, and it'll calculate and it'll put the proper X in there. Same thing in here. Do, do the picker, do the center, center of the circle, and it'll calculate and put the new X and Y in here, and it'll move it from the existing uh, base point, and it'll move it to this X and Y position. And you need to make sure you do the base point along with the independent. Then you can save and test your block.